I have done jobs in the past where I've got called to a property and I look at this tree and the homeowner tried to do it themselves or they had somebody try to do it for them that wasn't actually a tree professional. You know, they start doing their notch, but they can't figure it out or, or whatever reason. So now we have a situation where the tree is cut. You've got these property obstacles, fences, houses, and you have a compromised tree. And now we are the ones that have to resolve the situation. And now it's much more dangerous to take this tree down because it's compromised versus had the homeowner just contacted a professional tree company to begin with. What's up everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Chris. For those of you who are new to the channel or who haven't seen any of my videos, I'm an arborist tree climber and I own a tree care company. And this morning I happened to be perusing YouTube and I stumbled across a few do-it-yourself homeowner tree removal videos. And I thought it was worth making this video kind of like a little PSA, if you will, a public service announcement, because I was a little concerned by not just what I saw in the video. I mean, there's plenty of videos out there of people trying to cut trees themselves and, you know, they, they drop it on a house or whatever. What also concerned me, besides just what I saw in the video, was the comments on the video. People were like encouraged by this, saying, you know, thank you for giving me the encouragement to go take down my own trees and my own property. One of the videos was a guy who, or a person who rented a lift from, I think, Home Depot, and they're trying to take this tree down and they're dropping branches on the roof. No helmet. And, you know, people are acting like this is all fun and games. It's not. It's not as simple as just taking a chainsaw and cutting a branch. You need to know what cut is gonna result in what. Different cuts can have different responses when it comes to cutting either a tree hole or a branch. You know, which way is the branch gonna go? Which way is the tree gonna, gonna go? Make sure you don't cut through your hinge. What knot should you use? It's not as simple as just cutting a tree down. And I don't feel like people fully appreciate that. You know, some people, they want to do things themselves to save money. And I get it. And I think it's inspiring when people want to take care of their own projects, be self-sufficient. But you've got to know when to draw the line of what is just outside of your capabilities. And I think the way you do that is by weighing the potential consequences if what you're trying to do goes wrong. So for instance, Let's say you try trimming some shrubs on your own and it, maybe you, you take too much off and you kill the shrub. Okay, you know, it, it, it sucks, but in the grand scheme of things, you can replace the shrub. Now let's consider trying to take a huge tree down right next to your house. Maybe it, go, it, it falls in the house and you cause significant property damage or somebody in the area gets killed or seriously injured. There's a reason why tree removal costs what it costs. Because of the training, the equipment, the experience, the knowledge, the time, the effort, everything that goes in to being able to safely and efficiently take a tree down. This doesn't just apply to tree removal, but also tree trimming. All you've got to do is a YouTube search to see plenty of videos of people trying to cut parts of trees, huge tree limbs, down themselves, maybe they're standing on a 25 foot extension ladder and the limb comes down, knocks the ladder out from underneath you and you go falling 20 feet. I mean, this shit is dangerous. There's a reason why there's tree service companies because it requires expertise and knowledge and capability. Now I know people who aren't tree workers, homeowners, who have cut trees down on the property, far away from the house, mind you. You know, maybe they wanna use the wood or something. I'm not gonna say that it's okay and I'm not gonna say it's wrong because as a tree professional, I feel like I have a responsibility to not encourage people to try to do their own tree work, right? Because of the dangers and the risks. But at the same time, I also realized that you don't have to be a tree worker to have some knowledge of how to cut trees, how to trim trees. 
But just because you might have taken down a small tree out in an open area, not near any houses, doesn't mean you should try to take down a 100-foot pine tree that's leaning right over your house. And just because you watched a YouTube video doesn't mean that you should go and try it yourself. There's certain things that are better left to the professionals. So ultimately the reason I wanted to make this video was to just try to raise some awareness that tree cutting is not all fun and games. It might look cool in a YouTube video, but there's a lot of training, a lot of knowledge, a lot of learning, a lot of components that go into being able to safely cut a tree, even a sim simply safely cut a branch. And you need to have a healthy appreciation for those risks. You know, so I'm not, I'm not trying to come across that I'm saying nobody should ever try to cut down a tree who isn't an arborist because you're not going to stop people from doing it. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to necessarily be a professional arborist to have some knowledge, but you do need to know what your limits are and when it's better to contact the professionals. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Appreciate everyone who's recently subscribed to this channel. I'll see you all next time.